It's the Natty tonight. Georgia against TCU. Go down in the comment section. Let me know. Who do you got? Type UGA for Georgia or type TCU for the Frogs. I'm going to type TCU. I'm going with the Frogs. Welcome in to Saints Now. I am Will Scott. The season is over, which means it's now time to shift our focus to the offseason, and it is going to be an eventful offseason in New Orleans, no question about it. And a big question going into this offseason is Michael Thomas. Will we see him in a Saints jersey again? The Saints and MT agreed to a restructured contract. That 2023 salary cap dropped significantly but he is expected to make over $31 million in 2024, which certainly um, makes trade maybe a little bit more complicated, but I'm sure that he would get some trade interest if you were to put him on the market. I don't know if the Saints should do that, but it might happen. Now, the Saints can release or trade Michael Thomas with a minimal cap hit for this year, and that's significant and certainly something that Mickey Loomis and company have got to think about here. Mike Triplett tweeted this out. Saints coach Dennis Allen said no final decisions have been made yet regarding wide receiver Michael Thomas, the offensive coordinator spot, interesting, or any coaching changes. Said evaluations will occur, and it's more important to get the decisions right than put a timetable on them. Taking a look at what Michael Thomas has done this year. So we were all really excited to see him back on the field this year. But he only played in three games. This, of course, comes after not playing in any games last season. And he just has not been the same, Trace, um, you know, since that MVP year a few years back. Yeah, so... MVP caliber year. Exa yeah, a caliber year. Right. I mean, just because they restructured his contact contract doesn't mean he's gone, but I don't see a scenario where they do keep him. Um, considering you have a lot of players you may want to pay like Caden Ellis, linebacker, right. Juwan Johnson at tight end. Um, but you also have the emergence and the just showing sure. out of, Olav, of Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid. The future is now with this team. They, they, I mean, By the way, can I just give Trace credit because he was on the Rashid Shahid train before anyone else was. Uh, like literally in the UDFA <laughs> video that Mitchell Renz hosted, we were talking about it. You can go back and look at any video that Will and I have done, and we've all been on Rashid Shahid. I'm just saying Need we have been Rashid on Shahid. the train for a long, long time. And we've been on the train for a long time because of this. The two of them... 34 targets, 28 receptions, 488 yards, two touchdowns, and 17.4 yards average for Rashid Shahid. However, for Chris Olave, 119 uh, receptions or targets, 71 receptions. He hit that 1,000 yard yard. Thank you, Pete Carmichael and D Dennis Allen, for not screwing that up. Four touchdowns on the year and just under 15 yards per catch. I mean, dude, these guys are absolute dogs. Yeah. They're quality football players, and I really love what they've been able to do. And I think that if you were to lose Michael Thomas, you have pieces that you can be confident in that are young and you can move forward with, and they don't cost you as much money. It's The crazy thing is when you're talking about Alave and Shahid, they're both rookies. One was a first-round pick. The other was a UDFA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they were both able to contribute, especially down the stretch this season, is yeah. a really good sign for the future of this Saints team. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Now, do you think the Saints will have Michael Thomas back, or, or what do you think the Saints are going to do with MT? Go down in the comment section. They could trade him, cut him, or have him back. Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed, hit that big red subscribe button. We're going to have Michael Thomas updates, Sean Payton buzz, and more. Speaking of Sean Payton, here is the latest. The Broncos reportedly have permission to interview Payton. Now, he's recently hinted, which is interesting, that he'd like to stay with Fox and, and coach another team. So could New Orleans miss out on a nice return for Sean Payton? Because he's only under contract for this upcoming season, and then he's no longer under contract. So if Sean Payton decides to return to coaching in 2024, then the Saints would not be able to make a trade there. Adam Schefter tweeted this, The Arizona Cardinals fired head coach Cliff Kingsbury, who 10 months ago signed a contract extension through the 2027 season. The Cardinals still have never had a head coach, any head coach, last longer than six years while the team has existed for over 100 years. Taking a look here at the current openings. you got the Broncos, the Cardinals, the Colts, the Panthers, and the Texans. And those jobs, like, 
aren't super attractive to me if I'm Sean Payton. He apparently was going to be interested in the Dolphins if they opened. They're not. Mike McDaniel led that team to the playoffs. Chargers, they're not going to fire Staley. They just made the playoffs. So out of these openings, I just don't know which one stands out. I mean, maybe the Broncos, but that Russell Wilson contract situation is not a good one. Here's what Sean Payton said. Everything, everyone's asking about the city or quarterback. I think it's more about the ownership in front office. There's no utopia. All these teams, they're all moving on for reasons. And some of them, you've got to be careful. They, it's just not the coach that there are problems that run deeper. For me, it would be ownership and front office. Well, just come back. Just come back to New Orleans then, Sean. I mean, just that, come back. It sounds like that's the easiest <laughs> plan. It sounds like that's the most rational one. But. Real talk, like this is a very crucial offseason, man. It, it's one of those things there. If you screw up and you either a butcher a trade and that's the reason it falls through, not Sean Payton doesn't want to return. If Mickey Loomis pulls some nonsense and tries to ask for way too much and doesn't get a return, and Sean's like, you know what, I'm done playing these games. I'm just gonna sit out and then just go sign somewhere when there's a more appealing options, like you said. Mickey, don't screw it up. Mickey, please just uh -huh. get this right. If things go poorly, this is a situation you might actually have to talk about. Like next se next offseason, we might have to be talking about Mickey Loomis replacements because it's – I'm not out on him. I still believe in Mickey that much, though, that much. I, I need to see some growth. I need to see some progress from him before I see anything happen, and it's kind of it's, – it's ridiculous if you ask me. But I don't know. I, I think that Sean Payton could return, but it just feels like he's not, more not this likely. Year. Yeah, not to this just year. I think maybe around. next year, if Dennis Allen is a disaster, then maybe Sean Payton comes back. Now, will Sean Payton get traded? Why for yes, in for no? Down in the comment section, go down. Let us know. It is the pinned comment, so reply to it when an ad break comes. Also. Want to shout out BetUS. Even though the Saints are on the playoffs, you can still bet on the playoffs. Chatsports.com slash bet. That's the promo code. That's the deposit bonus. Go and take advantage of that bonus because that means if you put $100 in, you're going to get $225 to start with in your account. It's a great deal. So by DA. Mike Triplett said, Dennis Allen said indication that he's been given, said indication he's been given is he will remain Saints coach and he's had preliminary discussions with GM Mickey Loomis about the upcoming deep dive that will take place into looking at team. Said 7 and 10 isn't good enough, but also thinks team isn't that far off. But Trace, your thoughts on what the what DA needs to do here? I mean, at the bare minimum, you got to get, you got to can Pete Carmichael. He's got to go. He's old. His, his playbook, it ain't working. It's not set up to succeed around yeah. this team. I think that the best thing you can do is just move on from Pete Carmichael. I appreciate and I respect and understand why they wanted to give him the opportunity to have solo play calling duties. It didn't work. It happens. It's fine. Move on. And what I will say is there's a pretty intriguing candidate that just oh. hit, the, hit the table. Oh, oh so okay. Cliff Kingsbury as offensive coordinator. Oh, okay. I, 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 I kind of like, like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, he just got fired, but he's a quality offensive mind, and he's really smart. I think if you put some good tools around him, and, and, and not the excuse of injuries and how terrible the Cardinals franchise is, but maybe he, he, you like give him like something it. better to work with than I, I don't know. I, I don't like know. It. Maybe you I get him like a no-sit position. I like it. And you brought up a good point earlier. If DA doesn't work out and the offense is rolling next year under Cliff, you have pretty good internal candidates hey, to replace DA. Right there. So, I'm just saying. Just saying. Here we go. Uh, I like it, and I'm sure the uh, the women of Louisiana would also like it. <laughs> Let's talk about Trevor Penning now. He has a Liz Frank injury. He's going to get surgery during the offseason, recovery should take about five to six months. Could be back uh, by training camp because uh, he could be back with Jude. So I uh, certainly wish the best for Penning. Obviously, some injuries with him in his rookie year, but uh, the sky's the limit for Trump. It is also worth noting that it is not the same foot that he injured yes. in the off thank you for or in the preseason. That. I wanted to make sure yes. I said that. I forgot to put on the graphic. No, thank you for clarifying that. For clarifying that trace. Wish Trev. Pinning a speedy, I'm just calling him Trev today, I don't know why. Wish Trevor pinning a speedy recovery, type 70, down in the comment section. Hope to see him back soon.